Okay, it is Monday, June 3rd, and uh, we're leaving the shelter. We did a 15.3 yesterday. I think it was three, two or three, something like that. So it was a pretty good day. I was hoping to we'd do more than that, but uh, they, the other two didn't want to go on, so I stayed. <laughs> Um, we're in emergency mode now <laughs> because gear failure. We had a gear failure, people, and uh, that's top priority is to get that fixed because it's uh could be health threatening if we don't. Um, the bladder I use to collect raw water to put it through my filter got a hole in it so now I'm having trouble filtering water so I need to get a new bag uh, there's there's no outfitters here in Glasgow so I'm gonna have to hike through this town and tomorrow there's an outfitter but he's like I don't know quite a ways I have to hike to one town and then or shuttle or, or get picked up go through one town and this outfit is about four three or four miles outside of that town in between two other towns that are hiker towns i don't recall the name right now so anyway uh when i get up high again today i gotta call them see if they have a replacement bladder uh any almost any brand will work uh I just, I just need a bag to collect my water so I don't drink contaminated water. So that's priority. That's, uh, I got to get that fixed. Whatever it takes, I got to do it. So today will just be a hike. Um, we got to climb out of this gorge. And it's from what I hear. It's going to be most of the day climbing, which I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, so, and it's not 66 degrees. They screwed up that forecast. It's not hot yet, but it's not cool either. So it's just going to get warmer from here. <laughs> uh, so we'll have to deal with that and trying to filter water with a blown bag. So uh, if I have to, Roy said I could use his bag at Water Phillips to uh, filter my water. So that's good. Um, so it's not a life-threatening thing. It's just a health-threatening thing. Um, so that's about it. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, bug went down my throat. Um, it's 8 a.m., so a little later than what I wanted to start, but um, we had a pretty hard day yesterday, and I don't want to do two hard days in a row, which is going to be hard to avoid today, but we'll do what we can. Um, we're going to go over the James... James, or, yeah, James River or something like that. I think this has got this famous footbridge. The longest footbridge on the AT, I think. Um, so that will be interesting. If it's true, I'll take pictures of it. And, um, should be pretty, should be pretty nice. Um, all right, that's, uh, let me think. Anything else happening? We had a little shower last night, no major rain. I thought that was going to bring in the cool air. Or maybe the cool air is still coming, I don't know. But we only had like 20 minutes of a sprinkle. And that was the end of that front. So, yeah, I like fronts like that that are not too dramatic. We don't need the lightning and thunder and tropical rain showers. We don't need that kind of stuff, so... Uh, so that was a nice little front frontal passage yesterday. Look at the swimming hole. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. 
I didn't go swimming last night. I was too tired. I was hungry. I, I washed up with, my, with the face cloth, though, a little bit. And uh, so I, was, I felt a little refreshing before I hit the sack. Hammock's working out really good. I'm sleeping really, really good in it. So I'm glad that's working out okay. Actually, Roy is thinking about going to a hammock now. Uh, he wants to go to the outfit of the day, too. He's, he wants to get a quilt. He's tired of his sleeping bag. He said he's roasting it. I said, well, go to a quilt. So he's going to go look at them, I think, with me at the outfitter. Um, but he's ahead of me. He took off a half an hour ago, so he'll meet me. There's a shelter at 12 miles. We're all going to rendezvous there whenever we all get there. And then we'll, we'll decide what we're going to do at that point. All right. I got two miles to the wall. Well, probably a mile and a mile and three quarters to the river, the Big James River. And then we'll cross it. All right. Put the phone away now. It's getting bony. Oh, yeah. Definitely put it away now. All right. Later. Oh, I didn't know we had beavers in Virginia. Look at these guys. They're going to work. I don't know what they think they're going to dam. <laughs> when you see this river, they got a lot of work ahead of them if they think they're going to dam this river. Oh, yeah. Wait till you see this. We're coming up on the bridge here any minute. Uh, I've been walking along the river for the last mile. It's a major river. It's a probably 300 feet wide uh, it's pretty big and that that, that foot where, where did I pass it? oh no it's over here um it's not the wooden uh, um, the wooden uh, foot bridge that I was thinking of that must be further up this looks like an old trestle and they put a they either converted it to a footpath or they added a footpath to the side of the rails I'm not sure we'll know in a few minutes when I get there all right I'll put you away oh maybe it is a footbridge strictly not a trussel the trussel is over there all right here's a river James River footbridge here it is Okay. I gotta fix my poles up. Oh, we got a little rendezvous up here. What's going on? No jumping off the bridge. Whoa. <sighs> Smile. Look at, the, look at this thing, huh? No jumping off the bridge now. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to. It looks deep enough. Nice. At least we don't have to swim across or, or ford this river. Alright, I'm on the road to Glasgow. I'm going in for breakfast. <laughs> and there's five hikers up there on the opposite side. I'm on the right side, and I got a spot here for them to pull over and pick me up. The problem is, there are no cars on this road. <laughs> 
Uh, the only thing that's gone by is a logging truck, and he wouldn't stop. Oh, and one pickup. He waved. He wouldn't stop. So, I don't know. This, the trail is right here anyway, so I'm going to give it 15 minutes. If no cars come by, it's not going to be a good day to be thumbing into Glasgow. So, I'm just going to move on the trail and hitch into the next town, which will be tomorrow. But I could sure use a nice breakfast right now. I keep looking down there because I'm looking to see if there's a car. I hear something. Yeah, I hear a car. All right, we're going to give it a shot here. We'll give it a shot. No luck. Two pickups. Totally empty. No luck. <laughs> Those guys are still waiting up there. Oh, here we go. I hear another vehicle. Okay, this is Glasgow. There is absolutely nothing here. There is a, all the restaurants are closed. So we got a dinosaur. So this was a useless little venture. Came into a town that has nothing. Although our map says there was a couple of restaurants here. That says Grocery Express, but I have no idea what that's all about. Oh, God. And there is a gas station down here, so maybe I can get a coffee or a soda or something. So, this has got outdoor stuff. Maybe they have my water bladder here. Because it says outdoor supplies. So, let's see what we're going to have. All right, be back. Alright, don't waste your time going into Glasgow. There is absolutely nothing there. Yeah, there's a hostel, but there's nothing there. <laughs> oh, what a waste. There was a hardware store. They had a little bit of food and drinks. But, unless you're looking for nuts and bolts or a Pepsi... Or uh, Krispy Kreme. There's nothing there. Don't waste your time. And it's not easy getting out. Coming in was okay. Coming out is becoming a chore. <laughs> Definitely becoming a chore. But it could be that there's an intersection up here that I have to get to first. And then take my right. And the trail is about, I don't know, six miles down that road. So, once I get up here, I think when I stick my thumb out, people will know which direction I'm going. Right now, they don't know which way I'm going, so they're not going to pick me up right here. So, I got to get over there where that car stopped. And then go right. Yeah, you see, a lot of the traffic is going straight here. I think that'll work. I think I'll have better luck over there. All right, so another a little side trip going to bust. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the adventure. There were four other hikers that came in with me. Actually, I got the ride, and then I, I said, you know, they're, they're kind of hiking with me. She goes, oh yeah, all right, we'll go get them because they were down the road a little bit. So we. Uh, we waved them on and they walked up. But, going back, I don't know. I don't know, we shall see. All right, here's the stop sign, here's the intersection. And I gotta take a pee. So I gotta find a place to do that too. And it's not gonna be easy either. What? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Oh, well, maybe I can hold it a little bit. All right, I'll let you know how I make. How I make. At least I'll be in the shade. Look at this. Oops, you going my way? Hello. Oh, he is. Oh, I wasn't ready. Oh. 
No. Shoot! All right. Here's where I stick my thumb out, right here. All right, people. Let's see how I do. We're going back to Ella Lynchburg. There it is, Lynchburg. Hey, guys, because I think it's a water moccasin eating something down there. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah. Either that or it's a dead one. I'm not sure. But that's that looks like a water mo Well, it's got funny stripes on it. But I think it's a water moccasin. Could be dead. I'm not sure. I'm, it's missing a head. Where'd it go? There it is. Or, or it's eating a rat. It's doing something. Yeah, you see, it's moving. I think it's eating. He's eating something. Oh, yeah, you see? Where the hell? You see the fat head? See the diamond-shaped head? He's eating a rat or something. Yeah. Woo, that's a nasty one. Where'd he go? There he is. Look at that sucker. I'm glad he's down there underneath this bridge. Hey, and there he is down there. <laughs> okay. Well, as you can see, I made it back to the trail. So uh, I got a ride from uh, from two hikers. Uh, one one was getting a ride back. Another one is just bouncing around doing section hikes. Ended up. He was a former cruiser like me, except he was in the Caribbean on his boat for seven years. We were in the Caribbean on our boat for four years, so we had a lot to talk about. We were swapping stories back and forth. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, small world. Different. I love Hitch. I've had, so far, I've had such a good experience hitchhiking. I've met so many different people. I had a pastor pick me up once, school teacher, just had a curator from a museum pick me up this morning and bring me into town. Uh, it's, it's just amazing the people that you meet. I mean, and we, we, we're we going into trail town, so people know we're not bums. I mean, we have three, we're carrying over $3,000 worth of gear on our back. I mean, we look like, you know, we, we, we look like through hikers. And they know what through hikers are, who we are, because they live or they travel through hiker towns. So we really, you know, we might have to wait a few extra minutes, but typically we get rides quite often. This has been an, this has been an awesome section here. This is like the second bridge. The first bridge had that snake underneath it. I didn't want to see that coming right here on the trail, but... Well, we're in snake territory, and that was I, that to me was a. I'm pretty sure that was some sort of rattler because it had a diamond head uh, or a water moccasin. I'm not sure, but it did have a diamond head on it, so that was that means it was poisonous. I don't want to get near those freaking things. All right, I got a big set of stairs. I'm going to be going up, so we'll talk to you guys in a little while. I got some catching up to them. Two hours behind everybody else. <laughs> uh, our rendezvous was in 12 miles at the second shelter. I don't know when I'm going to get there, but I will get there. All right. You know, you can have all the plans, all the best ideas, but when, when you get on the trail, you got to be prepared to throw all that shit away and start from scratch. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this gorge. I mean, you never know what you're gonna run into. Uh, you, have, you know, unless you really do your research and watch every video, but then you don't have any surprises like this. I mean, this is awesome. Um, and like today, 
I had no idea I was going to go into Glasgow. As far as I was concerned, I was just going to hike to the 12 miles and set myself up to go in town tomorrow. But when I get to the trailhead, I met these four of the hikers, two hikers, and they were going in for breakfast. So I said, all right, I'll go in with you. So we all went in. Unfortunately, there was nothing open. <laughs> so we ended up at a hardware store buying stuff there. Uh, but, hey, how you doing? So, you, ne you just never know. You can't go. You, you can have a plan, but you better, better be prepared to change it at a notice, mo notice moment. So this is the guy in front of me. He's, he's one of the hikers that was in that car picked me up. Um, he's a through hiker because he's got the red tag on the back. So, uh, and I've seen him. I've seen him on the trail a couple of times. Never talked to him, but until this morning. Um, so, it's just a just a tip. You know, set set some sort of daily goal, but be prepared to throw it off the edge because <laughs> it could change at a moment's notice or any whim that you might have just go for it you know this is the whole trip is an experience on and off the trail believe me probably more of an experience off the trail is what i'm finding oh crap all right here we go we're going up all right later i hate virginia See those little flat little hills over there? Where did they go? Now the trail put us in stuff like that. Oh man, kicking our butt today. Oh, it's freaking one o'clock. I still haven't climbed this mountain yet. Been freaking at it all day, except for my little detour this morning. <laughs> oh, there's the James River and there's. I think that's the bridge we one of the bridges we went over. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Oh no, there they are right down there. Where are they? Right down there. See the two bridges? You got the railroad bridge and then you get the walk bridge. You can just about make it out here. That's all I've done. Are you kidding me? Oh man. Oh, this is not gonna be a productive day. No. Alright. But look at this freaking mountain. It is kicking our butt today. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Maybe, just maybe, this is the summit. Oh, oh crap. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Welcome to Virginia. Ah, oh, crap. We still got another one? I uh, better not be going up over that one. One frickin' mountain a day is enough. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, at least we got a view. Sometimes you do all this and there's nothing. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, let's see where it's taking us now. All right, turn the volume off. Send the kids out of the room. It's going to be X-rated. Oh, today sucked. It fucking sucked. Two days in a row. If I have one more day like this, I'm considering getting off. Yep. This is freaking bullshit. We were freaking mountaineering. If I wanted to go mountaineering, I'd do the Alps. This is not hiking. Oh, fuck. I don't know. That's a pretty big city down there. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Lynchburg, maybe? Don't know. But anyway, to the subject on hand. 
Virginia sucks. I am not in love with Virginia anymore. No. Oh, man. Wait till you people get to here. Oh, you think the southern states were bad. Wait till you hit these three freaking mountains in a row. <sighs> okay. The rant is over. You can bring the kids back in. Oh, man. Well, one good thing. I got a mile and a half down, and I'm at the shelter for the day. That's the end of my day. It's a 407. I don't know. It'll probably, probably take me an hour. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I am freaking beat. But look at this view, huh? Wow. Wow. Look at that. Oops. Got to come down. Here we go.